Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. Welcome along, my name is Azavar or Azza, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to easily defeat Father Gascoigne. We'll be using a strategy here that uses oil urns and Molotov cocktails. You'll need 4 oil urns and 10 Molotov cocktails, I'll show you where to get those in this video. One way to get loads of Molotovs is to sell all your clothes to the bath messengers, and then buy lots of Molotovs from them. You can also pick up some Molotovs on your way through Yarnum. You can pick some up behind some crates where you pull the lever to climb the large ladder. You can get some from behind a well after you fall down a bridge quite near to the lamp. You can also pick some up from under the bridge near the enemy with a stone in his hand. Next onto the oil urns, you can find some near three crows which is quite close to where the enemy is with the stone in his hand. You can extend your saw cleaver and then just press R2 to take these crows out. And then you can pick up some more oil urns near two more crows near the sewers section. Again you can just use an R2 with your saw cleaver extended to take these out. It's also worth mentioning that you can pick up a music box quite close to where these two crows are which you can use to stun Father Gascoigne for two or three seconds. Just follow this route around here and climb up these two ladders to pick up the music box from this NPC. I won't be using the music box in this video but I'm just going to show you where it is in case you want to use it. That's all the prep work so let's move on to the battle itself. Our character is level 10 with 14 strength. As the battle starts run straight towards the stairs. You might need to roll through Gascoigne's attack if he's close to you. Run straight up to the top of the stairs and get yourself behind the barrier. Wait for Gascoigne to run to the top of the stairs and then as quickly as you can you want to run down those stairs and then get yourself into this position against this wall just here. And then when we're in this position against this wall here Gascoigne will get stuck against the barrier above you. From here you basically want to throw oil urns and molotovs. Also it's worth mentioning that you don't lock on to do these throws. Just kind of stand back a little bit and then aim your camera upwards and then use the item. You kind of want to be aiming for where Gascoigne is standing. Only throw these items when Gascoigne is up close to the barrier because if he stood backwards a little bit the oil urn or the molotov won't hit him and it'll be a wasted item and ideally you don't want to be wasting items on this bit. If you throw a molotov at him after an oil urn it will do significantly more damage. Just keep in mind with the oil urns that he can only be covered in oil once per damage boost so if you're confident that he's already covered in oil don't use any more oil urns until you've used a molotov first. That way we can get the most damage out. When you're up against this wall here it's generally better to be up against the left hand side. That's because the stairs are slightly higher there and it will make Gascoigne miss you more often. However, if you find that Gascoigne is making his way down the stairs and it looks like he's about to come round to where you are, you want to position your character more to the right hand side, which is the lower part of the stairs. By putting our character towards the right hand side here, and the lower side of the stairs, it will bait Gascoigne into attacking and then lure him into getting stuck again against the barrier. Sometimes if you can see a big attack incoming, you might need to pull back a little bit, pull your character away from the wall so that you avoid any damage. Keep in mind that when Gascoigne transforms into his beast form, that will knock you over as well. So you may need to pull back away from the wall to avoid that transformation. Again, if you do have the music box here, you can use the music box to stun him for a few seconds. Just keep in mind that if you use this tiny music box too many times it will force him to transform into his beast form regardless of his HP. If you find that you've used up all of your oil urns and molotovs you can actually extend the saw cleaver and then do an R1. An extended R1 if placed correctly should hit him through the barriers. You might need to do this to finish him off if he's got a little bit of HP left. If he does manage to make his way down the stairs and around to where you are don't worry too much just repeat this process from step one get yourself back up to the top of the stairs behind the barrier lure him back up stairs and then just rinse and repeat until he's back in place. With enough practice, time and patience you'll have this fight mastered in no time. Hopefully you found this guide useful and it helped you out in some way. If it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments section below if you've got any questions or queries. 